Hey everybody, Eric from Live Aquaria. Welcome to another episode of Divers Den Deep Dive. Today I'm here to tell you about frogfish. There are close to 50 different species of frogfish. So if you want to become an aficionado of anglers, you have plenty to choose from. With species ranging in size from two inch pygmies to 12 inch giants, their sizes, skin color, and texture all run the gamut. Frogfish are found in just about all of the world's tropical and subtropical oceans with the exception of the Mediterranean Sea. These cryptic looking critters are fascinating in their looks and behavior. Frogfish are scaleless. Their only defense against predators is camouflage. Frogfish have the ability to blend in with their surroundings to mimic rocks, corals, sponges, and even masses of sargassum seaweed depending on the species. Even the texture of their skin plays a role in concealing the frogfish. Their skin can be bumpy or have stringy bifurcated spinules which further help conceal the frogfish. Some species even have algae or hydrozoa grow on the skin. Another interesting feature of frogfish is how they move. They usually don't swim in a traditional sense. They use jet propulsion through their gill openings which are located on the back side of their pectoral fins which are more like appendages. The frogfish opens its mouth to gulp water and pushes water out through the openings which propels the fish. Frogfish can also walk, climb, and wallow with their adapted pectoral fins. Frogfish use aggressive mimicry and ambush style tactics to catch and eat their prey. Most frogfish have a built-in fishing rod and lure which is an adaptation of their first dorsal spine. Most of the dorsal spine is considered the elysium or rod and the very end is the esca or lure that the frogfish use to attract their prey. The esca or lure resembles a small worm, crustacean, or fish depending on the species. The frogfish lie in wait while fishing for their prey by extending the elysium and wiggling the esca to entice and catch prey. When the frogfish is successful at luring in prey, it opens its mouth so fast it creates a vortex that sucks the fish into its mouth in approximately 6 milliseconds. Once the prey is swallowed by the frogfish, its esophagus closes by way of special muscle to keep the prey from escaping before entering its very expandable stomach. Should the esca or lure get bitten off by a fish, the frogfish has the ability to grow a new one back. Since frogfish are highly predatory and possess a big gaping mouth and an expandable stomach, they are most often kept by themselves. Frogfish can eat any fish or crustacean half its size or larger. If hungry enough, frogfish will eat fish that are as big as they are and will even eat each other when kept together if not properly fed. In my personal experience in the past, when a frogfish eats larger prey items, it usually does not bode well for the frogfish or prey. In the early 90s when I was working at a retail store, we had a 5 inch frogfish in with a 7 inch miniatus grouper and the frogfish ate the grouper then subsequently died later that day. I recommend keeping the prey items smaller and more digestible. To elicit the feeding response of new frogfish, feed ghost shrimp and live bearers like guppies and mollies. Eventually most frogfish will accept frozen thawed foods like krill, silver sides, and squid. Sometimes it helps to spear the food item on the end of a feeding stick and wiggle it in front of the frogfish to encourage feeding. I feel a very diet and not overfeeding frogfish is important to keeping them long term. I recommend two to three feedings a week. If you're feeding live food, be sure to gut load it with a quality flake food. And soak frozen thawed food in Celcon or Vitachem to provide proper nutrition. To protect the other fish in the aquarium here and show you different frogfish species for filming, we have them individually cordoned off in the tanklamates. From left to right we have a wart skin angler, a freckled angler, another wart skin angler, an orange pygmy tuberculated angler, a painted angler, and a giant angler. To purchase frogfish, you can check the regular Live Aquaria website for some of the more commonly sold specimens, otherwise we offer more unique species on the Diver's Den section when they are available. If you're interested in the tanklamate, check out this YouTube channel or click on the product link below that will take you to the website. Thanks for watching today's episode of Diver's Den Deep Dive, Frogfish. Until next time, feed, siphon, repeat.